With Visual GDB for Android, it's very easy to develop native Android code in Visual Studio. Just click New Project, select Visual GDB, Android App Wizard, then select Create New App, go on with the default project names, select a platform, and click Finish. That's it! You now have a Visual Studio project that you can compile and run on your Android device. It consists of one huge button and a simple native function written in C. Debugging your native code is very easy with Visual GDB. Just set a normal breakpoint on Visual Studio. Then go to the device and execute your function. When the breakpoint is hit, you can use the normal Visual Studio debugging techniques. For example, you could step through a program observing variable values or examine the call stack. Or you can hover the mouse over a variable and click to modify its value. Let's change the button press counter value to 1024. You can also run normal GDB commands using the GDB session window. For example, printf with a custom format string. Visual GDB will send those commands to the GDB debugger directly, and you will see the result. So if you use the command line debugging, you won't really miss it with Visual GDB. When you resume your program, you can observe what happens after we change the button press counter manually. You can also experiment with the samples provided with Android Native Development Kit. Just select Clone Sample from NDK, press Next, select a sample from the list, press Next again, and complete the wizard by pressing Finish. There is one more great thing that you can do with Visual GDB that is not that simple otherwise. You can easily debug the startup of your application. Just set a breakpoint like in a normal C program. Then select Android Debug App Startup. From now on, Visual GDB will do everything completely automatically for you. It will install your package file to the device. Then it will start the app in a special suspended mode so that none of your breakpoints will be missed while the debugger is initializing. Next, it will verify the consistency of all debugging tools and set up a debugging connection. Then it will automatically analyze the native libraries that are loaded into the app and will load debugging symbols for those libraries. Finally, it will bind all your breakpoints and let the program continue until one of your breakpoints is hit. When this happens, Visual GDB will fetch the stack trace for you so you can use the normal Visual Studio windows to examine your program state. For example, let's look at the Android app entry function that calls Android main. This function is defined in the Android native app glue file that is provided by NDK. You can browse through the function and hover the mouse over variables to see their values. This works just like you're debugging a normal Windows application with Visual Studio. For example, here is the Android app variable that contains pointers to various system structures. If you debug a lot of Android code and want a simple and efficient debugging solution, Give it a try, go to visualgdb.com and check out the free trial.